Tempe community has always been on the cutting edge when it came to the environment. Our community is already doing a lot of the green things that we're hearing other communities starting to do. The design came about uh, after a first public meeting that we, that we had with a group of volunteers. We held a small design charrette and came up with a, a sort of a concept and kind of tried to incorporate a lot of elements uh, that people wanted to have in the garden. For the city of Tempe to, to put on something this magnitude to get the community involved, especially this day and age when time's tough for everybody, to bring the community together and forget about what's going on with the economy and, and get together a community and have a garden. Having people get out and meet other people and shake hands and, you know, meet a guy like me that earns a living by peeling garlic and shallots, you know, and then getting involved with, with something like this is pretty fun. The kids are running around. I mean, they filled my shoes with dirt a few times, but they're young, you know, <laughs> so it's good. We're seeing this kind of response from our community with the opportunity for people to actually help make this space, which currently is fallow, into something really wonderful a community garden that can also supply food and vegetables for our community. And this is really the best of what Tempe is. Growing locally is very good for your body. Growing locally is very good for the community. And that's what we're hoping to promote here with the garden. Well, this garden is a powerful symbol, for one thing. It's a powerful symbol of urban agriculture, about fertility, and the fact that it's right across from the light rail station is an incredible, powerful symbol of that for downtown communities, that they can actually have uh, an urban garden and produce food locally uh, within a community. I plan on having one dish on the menu where everything on that plate is going to come from this garden, and then all the sales and proceeds from that will come back to the garden. So. You know, like I've always said, even if it's just the parsley we're using in our stocks, you know, our everyday cooking, at least we know where that parsley came from. We look to local businesses to plant their seeds here. During a downturn like we've been experiencing, you see national chains pulling out. They're not invested in the community, and the locals stay. So for the long-term best interests of sustainability from an economic perspective, it really does mean investing in our local businesses and having our residents understand that those businesses give back to them as well. That buying locally means that you're supporting your neighbors and your friends, your local schools and uh, the city government. There's something about getting your hands in the dirt. We like to do it as children, as adults, it's soothing, it's relaxing, and it's a community builder. You'll have the opportunity to meet your neighbors in the garden, and you're doing something together as a team. So my hope is, as this pilot program progresses here at Fifth and Forest, down the road we'll be able to expand this to other vacant areas in our community.